Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make one of my favorite snacks from before keto, Cheez-Its. And we're gonna make them right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and that you hit the little bell button so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. So like I said, today we're gonna make my favorite snack from before keto, Cheez-Its. And I know it sounds kind of childish, but you know what? I love Cheez-Its because I love cheese and I love crackers. And I think Cheez-Its are just like the perfect combination. And I've worked really hard on this recipe. I've tried so many different concoctions, adding like baking powder and, and xanthan gum and trying to get the perfect cracker. And it turns out that simple is better because this recipe only has three ingredients. So let's go over what they are. First thing we need is some cheddar cheese because Cheez-Its are cheddar cheese crackers. Uh, we also need some almond flour. And then finally, we need some baking powder, and that's all we're going to need. Now, you don't have to use cheddar cheese. You can actually use pretty much any other kind of cheese you want. I've tried it with Parmesan, it worked. I've tried it with mozzarella, it worked. Just cheddar cheese is what's going to make this a cheese it. So that's all we're gonna need. The only other thing we're gonna need is a few drops of water, but we'll get to that when we uh, get to that part. So let's put these to the side. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to take a food processor. I'm just gonna use this little mini one that came with my immersion blender. And we're gonna go into there. We're going to put a half a cup of cheddar cheese. And this is super easy to remember because you're going to one to one ratio. So we're gonna go a half a cup of cheddar cheese and it's also better to weigh this out and you'll get a better result. Uh, and then you're gonna have a half a cup of almond flour. So half a cup of almond flour, half a cup of cheddar cheese. And to that, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So it's a half, a half, a half. So if you wanna double the recipe, just one teaspoon, one cup of baking powder, uh, one cup of almond flour, and one cup of cheese. Now finally, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some water to turn this more into a dough. But the first thing we're gonna do is kinda of blend it and see where we're at. Okay, so now that we've got that pretty incorporated, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with two teaspoons of water. And what we're trying to do is basically get a dough, but we don't want it to be like too sticky, too wet. And start from there. see where we're at and that's that's pretty much what you want this is exactly how you want it so let's put this to the side we grab a piece of parchment paper now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this batter or this dough and we're gonna form it into a ball and then we're gonna roll it out yeah this is this is absolutely perfect this is exactly the way you want it the, the key is when you're adding the water, just do a teaspoon at a time. Start off with one, maybe two teaspoons, and then if you need a little bit more, add a little bit more. It's just gonna depend on how perfectly you measured out your almond flour. Okay, we're gonna grab another piece of parchment paper here. And we wanna roll this to about an eighth of an inch thick. Now, unfortunately, I lost my eighth of an inch uh, end pieces here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this out. This one is I think a sixth of an inch and then I'm gonna basically use another rolling pin to kind of just get it the rest of the way. Let's check that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So basically it looks like you have a piece of like a cheap, one of those uh, cheese folios. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of salt. We're gonna use the Redmond Real Salt and we're gonna just kind of lightly dust the top of this. 
Now, if you want to get fancy, we're going to take a pizza cutter. You can actually cut off these jagged edges. I'm just going to leave them because we'll still eat them. And now I'm just going to cut this into little Cheez-It pieces. It's very important that you pre-score this. If you don't, when you go to break it, because they really are like a cracker, you're not going to be super happy with the results. So just take the extra time, pre-score it. I just find that the pizza cutter works perfect for this. Doesn't matter how big you make it, it's completely up to you. You can cut it into different designs. If you want, you could even take a ruler to make sure everything is perfect. Okay, finally, we're gonna grab our cookie sheet and we're going to just put this on our cookie sheet into the oven, 325 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes until it just starts to brown. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna let these cool for about 15 minutes, then we're gonna come back and snap them into pieces and give them a taste test. So it's been about 10 minutes and these are nice and cool now. And let me show you what we got here. Go ahead and just crack one of these in half. Look at that. And when we just crack it, it snaps. Listen to that. It's just got a nice snap to it and they taste incredible. It's just like a cheese dip. We actually have to not make these because they don't stay in the house. Rachel and I eat the entire batch. So let's talk a little bit about the nutrition while we're talking about that. So if you break this down into four, like just kind of snack servings, uh, it would be 145 calories, 12 grams of fat, six grams of protein, three total carbs, and one and a half grams of fiber. So if you eat this entire batch in one sitting, uh, you are gonna be looking at about 12 carbs uh, 12 total carbs and about six net carbs, which still is not that bad. Uh, you do get a decent amount here, uh, but we choose to just kind of break it down into three or four pieces and just three or four servings rather, and just grab three or four pieces. Sometimes it even stretches out to more than four servings. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make these. Also, let us know what other kinds of crackers you like. Uh, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.